What I would, f I would first recommend to my patient is understand the disease, understand that you don't have the same cancer that, that every other man who's diagnosed with prostate cancer has. Some people are advocating not even calling early prostate cancers cancer, and in fact, we don't really know what their natural behavior is over time. So understand that you may not have the same cancer as somebody else who's diagnosed with prostate cancer. Understand that your treatment options are radically different. Prostate cancer is a very unique cancer in the sense that the treatment has to be tailored to each individual patient. Not that that's not true for all cancers, but prostate cancer is unique because we look at the life expectancy, the medical issues of the patient, their value systems play a huge role because we're talking about quality of life, incontinence, erection problems, uh, the, the side effects of, of undergoing a surgery, loss of time um, going to work. So we have to think about all these things together. And the biggest thing we have to think about is the psychological burden to the patient because once you give that patient the diagnosis of cancer, that's life changing. And some men cannot live with the idea of having cancer in their body. So we have an honest discussion at the beginning when, when they're diagnosed with lowers cancer. Here are your treatment options. What can you live with? What is your value system? Are you willing to take a risk that you may have cancer that spreads? Or you're not willing to take that risk and you want to have your cancer treated because psychologically you don't want to live with your cancer. Watchful waiting is monitoring the PSA and monitoring the patient's clinical evaluation until they reach a point where we're concerned that they're going to have side effects of the prostate cancer, specifically broken bones or other side effects of the cancer spreading. Active surveillance from the beginning when the patient and the doctor initiate that, that option, there is the intent to cure the prostate cancer. So we monitor with PSA, repeat biopsies, rectal exams at a certain point when the patient gets nervous or we as the physician feel that perhaps the the cancers become more aggressive or has more volume of disease, then we intervene with either surgery or radiation therapy or some of the other treatment modalities that are available in the hopes of curing the cancer before it spreads. So there's a, a world of difference. Patients who are candidates for watchful waiting are typically older patients who have a shorter life expectancy, more medical problems. Patients who are candidates for active surveillance are men that we would expect to, to have a longer life expectancy, greater than 10 years, that we don't want them to die from prostate cancer. We'd want them to die with fewer complications of their prostate cancer but live a long, healthy life.